It must be time for another Nancy Drew game. That's right, I'm your Gibbs, and I have played a whole bunch of these games, and I've got another one for you here. Let's go ahead and hit new game. Welcome to my latest case, Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. To start playing, choose either junior or senior detective. If you're new to adventure games or need some help, choose tutorial. That's right, folks. It's going to be Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. Now, I've never played this game before, so this will be a blind playthrough, which is exactly like all my other Nancy Drew playthroughs. I have probably did maybe two-thirds of them by now. I've lost track. I'm not sure if it's 17, 18. I did a bunch of them, all the new ones, and now I'm going back and doing the older ones. Now, I normally do Senior Detective, but I'm going to just try Junior Detective, just for something different. Dear Ned, Remember Sally McDonald, the woman who took those photos that Dad has up in his office? Well, she just bought a house in Moon Lake, Pennsylvania. A gangster named Mickey Malone built it back in the 20s as his country getaway. We're talking major fixer-upper. Anyway, last night Sally called and she said she desperately needed my detective skills. She refused to say why over the phone. Naturally, I said I'd drive to Moon Lake immediately. But weird things started happening the moment I pulled up. First, this big tree fell down behind my car and has me totally blocked in. And then I discovered that Sally's gone. She left a note that suggested something terrible happens here at night. She's supposed to call me from her car. So here I sit, writing to you while I wait for the phone to ring. It's nighttime, and although part of me is dying to know what frightened Sally away, another part of me is starting to feel a little uneasy. I'll let you know what happens. Ever yours, Nancy. <laughs> All right, so here we are in this spooky cabin. Oh, look at that, I can spin around, yay! So I will be doing my typical Nancy Drew uh, beginning here. I'm going to just kind of poke around and get a sense of my surroundings, and then we'll get into solving some of the puzzles and what have you. So let's go ahead and answer this phone here. Hello? Hello? Nancy, hi, it's Sally. We have to talk fast because I'm in my car and my cell phone's running low, so we might get cut off. But did you see my note? Yes, are you all right? No, I feel awful bailing on you like that. You must think I'm such a flake. I'm just worried about you. What's wrong? I couldn't stand the thought of spending another night there. I knew you were on your way, but it didn't help. I just got too scared. Okay, so let's see here. What's to be scared of? Uh, let's go with this one. You make it sound like it's haunted. You make it sound like the house is haunted or something. Not the house. The woods. Just wait until it gets dark. Then you'll see. What am I saying? Nancy, you shouldn't be there by yourself either. Why don't you just go get in your car and go home? Or drive to Philadelphia. My aunt's got plenty of room. Ah, uh, well... One of your trees seems to have other plans. One of your trees seems to have other plans for me. What do you mean? Well, it kind of fell down. A tree fell down behind my car just as I was driving up to the house. I'm blocked in. Oh, the dead maple beside the driveway. Oh, they told me it was in danger of falling over when I had the place inspected. I just never got around to doing anything about it. Listen, call M's Emporium. That's a store on the lake. Emily knows everybody. She'll know who to call. If she decides to answer her phone. Okay. It's late. Won't the store be closed? Where's my brain? Okay, look. I just bought a little outboard motorboat. I haven't used it yet, but the guy who put it in for me said it should run just fine. It's tied up at the dock out front. Just get in it and go. Go anywhere. Just get away from the house. Wow. Uh, I'm getting a sense that I don't want to be here anymore. I can't just take off in your boat. It's pitch black outside. Then listen to me. Go around the house and lock all the doors and windows. Do that right now. There aren't any locks on the doors and windows. What are you so afraid of? The dogs! Those dogs! Out of nowhere! They're just outside howling and snarling! Teeth and claws! Horrible! Dogs? Hello? Did you say dogs? Hello? Not the dogs. Oh no. Ooh, ooh. So it looks like we've got two phone numbers. You know what? I think we're going to call our BFF right away because Nancy's a little scared and, you know, we need to talk to do your best to get some perspective here. Pick up, pick up, pick up. 
Come on, Bess, pick up. Nancy, how's it going? Hey, Bess, how'd you know it was me? Telepathy, of course. Just another of my many talents. You are so full of it. She got caller ID, Nancy. So now, instead of hanging up on the geeks that always call her, she just doesn't answer the phone. Very funny. So what's up? Uh, well... Believe it or not, Sally went to her aunt's in Philadelphia. I'm here by myself. Why? What happened? Did you two have a fight? Oh, Bess. Nancy Drew does not have fights. Heated debates? Maybe. Fights? Never. Why else would Sally just take off like that? She said something happens when it gets dark here. Something really, really scary. Scary as in what? Yeah, people type scary or ghost type scary? Dog type scary. <laughs> she called to warn me about the dogs. Dogs? As in Rin Tin Tin, Old Yeller, Huckleberry Hound? Apparently there are some dogs around here that come out at night and are pretty scary. That's about all she has a chance to say before we got cut off. Dogs aren't scary. Maybe it's some other kind of animal. That's possible. As soon as you hang up, you're going to go prowling around outside, aren't you? Why, Bess, that's a great idea. Well, be careful. And if anything does happen, run. No, wait, call us first, then run. <laughs> I will. <laughs> okay, bye-bye, ladies. Bye, you guys. See ya. Bye. Bye. All right, uh, we'll leave Sally McDonald for now. And uh, we're just going to check things out. Check out squeaking mice. Oh, it doesn't sound too... Oh, jeez. What the heck was that? What is that? <laughs> it scared me big time. Holy cow. <laughs> Felt like it was right behind us. Uh, let's see what we have here. We got... It's stuck. Oh, no. I need some sandpaper. Uh, okay. It's stuck. It's stuck. Dear old, it's stuck. So we'll have to come back to that when we have sandpaper, apparently. Uh, what else can we do here? What is this thing, anyways? This is our PDA. Aw, look at that. It's so fun to play around with the older Nancy Drew games. Uh, you know, as technology kind of developed over the years. They're newer ones incorporate newer technology, but clearly back when this game was made, PDAs were a thing. So that's kind of neat. So let's see, uh, well, we need to figure out what scared me, because now I'm scared. Bleach. Nancy, I'm really, really sorry, but I just can't face another night here. I'm going to my aunt's in Philadelphia. Door is open, make yourself at home. I will call you from my car. Cell phone number is that. Please don't hate me. <laughs> Alright, come on back up, Nancy. Get well water tested ASAP. Ooh, flashlight. Ooh, forest trail map. Harry, thought you could use this map to the cemetery. You'll find lots of bait along the way, especially at night. The cemetery is real hard to find. I got lost a bunch of times. Happy fishing, George. Hmm, okay. I think a map is always a nice thing to have. Doesn't look like we can open any of this stuff. Uh, what do we have over here? We got some bananas. Get dead tree, cut down. Yeah, you know what? That would have been helpful like a day ago. Uh, water, sure. Maybe some food in the cooler here would be another good thing. I'm actually liking the music, it's pretty nice. Leaves that appear on a fresh spring tree make my birth different from the other three. When swans drift by on shimmering blue, I'm the one who plays in the summer dew. When autumn's call brings out the deer, it is I who howls on mornings clear. And when winter comes and birds take flight, Look to me to sleep through the long gray night. Hmm, cool poem. Can we just leave? Let's go. The moon's so bright, I won't need my flashlight. Good, good. Let's run. Hello. Oh, there's the tree that blocked us in. Sound of door rattling. Oh, it's a hidden object scene. <laughs> uh, those look too rotten. No such luck here. 
Uh, okay, so let me see if we can turn around here. Oh, I guess we gotta do that. What exactly is this? Oh yeah, the map, of course. So that's that. And if we go here... I'm not sure if this is such a great idea, Daisy. Still, you're like monkeys out there. We're gonna get lost in this forest. I better be careful. Uh, yeah. Oh, Nancy's brave. I think I'm just going around in circles. It's, uh, something here. I don't know exactly what. Okay. Well, we need to get out of this forest and back to the house, I think. But I don't know how. Oh, that's the stump. Oh, Nancy, what have you done? We've got lost in this silly forest. Ah! No. Okay. Yeah, this could be a problem. I've clearly got myself into a situation here. And it's either because I can't find the arrows to get me out of here. I'll see if this works for us. Come on, Nancy. I think we just went in. Oh, no, we're free. Woof! Let's go back. I don't like where we ended up there. Uh, anything that we can look at here? I'd better wait until daylight. Okay, that sounds like a... <laughs> What? Something's out there. Who's doing that? Now it's... look what you've done. That was a Strix Varia. At least I think it was. Never know for sure now, will I? What's with the animation? Who are you? My name's Red Knot. And if you've got a volume knob, I'd appreciate your taking it down a notch before you scare away everything from here to Lancaster. Okay. I'm Nancy Drew. What were all those noises out here just now? That was me, Miss Nancy Drew, calling in birds. And doing a pretty good job of it, too, till you showed up. Where'd you come from, anyway? Sorry, you're doing what? I'm staying here in the old Malone place. Now, why would you want to do a thing like that? The Malone house is no place for one young woman, let alone two. What do you know about the woman living here? I talked to her a couple of times. But you know... The last time I saw her, she wasn't doing so good. She acted real anxious. Scared. Okay. Did she say what was wrong? The dogs. The dogs of Mickey Malone. Legend goes that when Malone was finally arrested and hauled away, his four dogs went running off into the woods and were never seen again. People would just hear them, howling like their hearts were broken every night until one by one, they all died. And went silent. But every time someone tries living in the Malone house, back they come. Are you saying Sally's house is haunted by ghost dogs? Every night, ever since she moved in, you could hear them howling. And some nights, the dogs would appear outside the house, running around, snarling and barking and throwing themselves at the doors and windows. And then, they'd be gone. They're buried in the cemetery just beyond the house, you know. Them and Malone both. The dogs would attack her house? It's like they don't want anybody but Malone living there. I guess they don't know he's dead. And so are they. Did she ever call the police? This isn't New York City, Miss Nancy Drew. All they got around here is one officious little park ranger. And all Jeff Akers does is sit around all day trying to figure out how he can get himself transferred out of here to a bigger park. Okay... Are you a native of Moon Lake? I just come to Moon Lake in the spring to look for birds. Got an observation platform just up the path, kind of my base camp, and I've got a little outboard down there on the lake. Left my car at the big dock up lake. Don't really need it. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's with the dogs? Uh... Are those the ghost dogs? Yes, ma'am. 
Which is why I think it would be a good idea if I went my merry way and you got yourself back inside that house. One more thing. The water in Sally's well needs to be tested. How do I do that? Get a sampling kit from Jeff Akers. Ranger stations on the east side of the lake. Good luck, Miss Nancy Drew. Good luck, Miss Nancy Drew. I don't like the sounds of that at all. It's not safe to take the boat out at night. But, but, but safety. I, I can get in there and... Okay. So I guess we're not gonna leave. Nancy's too brave for that anyways. Uh, well, I guess we should go inside. Um, can we, like, leave this place, or was that- Whoa, 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 This whoa. is not good. Um... <gasps> what the heck's going on? Run, run, run! Go somewhere, Nancy! Upstairs? Sure. Run, run, Nancy, run! Ah, uh, <laughs> yes, we're going upstairs to sleep. Yes, please, yes, please. Whoo! All right, folks. Well, we need to take a quick break, but we'll be back for more Nancy Drew, Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. I can already tell that this game's going to be a little scary, at least in the first half, until we figure out, uh, well, what's going on here. So I'm going to take a break here. I'm your Gibbs, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh my gosh, these dogs are crazy.